Hi, Rob here again, and we are continuing our look at how to set up your own course using the Canvas Learning Management System. And we have already created a blank course shell. We have created some content pages, and we've added some text and formatted the text on uh, this course homepage here now. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to work with images when you want to embed images into your course. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go into the files area and upload a batch of images all at once, or you can do them one at a time. Let's take a look at doing these one at a time as we are actually editing the page, because that's probably the most likely way that most of you are going to do this. So I am going to hit edit on my page here now, and I'm going to put a couple of images onto this page. Okay, so I am now into my content page and I have my place here where I want to put my image. There are a couple of different ways that I can do that. One is by using the uh, embed image button here on the toolbar, but I prefer to use the images um, navigation over here on the right hand so side of the screen in the course builder area. I'm going to click on upload a new image and I need to choose a file. Now in my course uh, page script, I have a listing here for it. I know the file name. I also have a uh, tag as decorative as a note. I'll explain that in just a moment. So I'm going to upload an image by clicking on choose file. And it's going to bring me into my folder here with my images. I'm going to pick this one here, uh, PLS logo transparent that matches the, uh, the file name that I had in my script. And now I get to this option here to, to add alternative text or to tag it as decorative. Remember, I had a note to tag this as decorative, so that's what I'm going to do. The reason I'm doing that is because there is no instructional value to this particular image. There's no content merit to it. It is simply a decorative image. And by tagging it as decorative, any visually impaired users who have a digital screen reader application can navigate through the page and it's not going to stop and uh, give them any notation about that image at all. It's not going to bother them with it because there is no important information in that image. So I'll I will tag it as decorative and then hit the upload button and it is going to embed that image on the page for me. Now, this is rather large. I want to change the size on this. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight this image, click on the icon on my toolbar here now, and you can see the alt text is grayed out because it's decorative. And I'm going to change my image size. I'm just going to put this down to 350. And that should be large enough for our purposes here now. Now I'm going to add another image on this page that is not decorative. And I'm going to put that here because on my script I have another image, an attention graphic, uh, put before the heading pilot phase status. And I do have some alt text already noted. My alt text in this case is please note because I'm trying to grab the, uh, the reader's attention. So I'm going to add that image right here. And again I'll go through the same process of uploading a new image, choosing a file, and I have an image file already designated to go with this custom made alert icon. And I do have alt text this time because it is important that I grab any user's attention and let them know that there's an important note coming up. And I will upload this image. It will also save it to the images area. It is now embedded that image here. So I'm going to hit save on this page. I now have my two images in place. One important thing to note when working with images on your content pages um, is that you don't want to embed too much text as an image. I'm going to go to my pages area and create a new page and show you uh, what I mean with this. So I'm going to create a new page here now, and I'm going to call this Infographic Sample. 
Now we have all seen infographics used on web pages and in uh, online courses. They're very useful for providing some information in an eye-catching way. I'm going to add in an infographic that I actually have. And this is one that I recently created with some tips on uh, digital accessibility. And I'm going to add some alternative text to this. But first, I'm just going to save this in here right now um, as it is. I'm not going to add any alt text and I'm not going to take it as decorative. I'm simply going to upload this image. I'll just give it some du uh, dummy text here for now because it won't let me upload until I add something. So now I have all of this text on here. The problem is that this text in this infographic is actually saved as text within an image. It's not machine readable, meaning that anybody who's using a digital screen reader application cannot read this. The, their application cannot grab that text and read it. It also doesn't reflow properly when you look at uh, this page on different screen sizes because this is saved as an image. So what I want to do is actually add some more alt text in here and I have some ready to go which is on another tab I have this alt text here infographic with tips for meeting digital accessibility standards click on the link below for a fully accessible PDF version so I'm going to come back into my page add this alt text here update this and I can actually then add a link below and I would link it to a copy of the PDF here I would actually add in that hyperlink to that and that is how you add alt text to images how you embed images one other item of note on here a quick trick for you you'll notice if I look at this and I look at the image size here it's uh, 1218 by 1624 pixels wide that's going to be rather large if you view this on a smaller screen you're going to be scrolling from left to right not just top to bottom so what I like to do is to go into the HTML editor view look at my image here and I just change the width from 1218 to 100% and I delete the height altogether. It's going to maintain the aspect ratio, but it's going to make this page so that it is the image so that it is 100% of the width of the screen, no matter how wide the screen is. And then the page will will resize its height proportionately.